Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Old Southern Fine. I am really excited about the trip that we've got today. We have a backpacking camping trip. Uh, so we're going to be staying in an actual paid campsite. So, but it is a backpacking uh, site. So we're gonna hike back in. I think the map shows it as a little bit over a mile. This is, uh, I I've never been here before. I haven't scouted this area. So we're gonna have ourselves a true proper adventure. Uh, other than just kind of what I've seen online and from uh, from some satellite maps of it. Uh, but should be a beautiful little area, uh, very nice hike. It's not too cold today. Uh, it's only 37 degrees, it's supposed to get down into the high 20s over the evenings. <clears throat> We've got a brand new Ayamaya backpacking tent uh, to try out that I'm really excited about. I've been wanting to try this for quite some time. So I finally got that in and we uh, and get a trip that's going to be just perfect for it. So I sure am glad that you guys come along on this adventure. Uh, it means a lot, and uh, hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm going to. packing up on the truck and uh, getting ready to head in. I uh, met a really nice couple in the area. And they stopped and asked if I had a YouTube channel. And so we got to talking for a little bit. And so uh, if you guys are watching, uh, thank you. Uh, it was really nice to meet you guys. That was pretty neat getting to hear and see those snow geese fly by. That was, uh, that was beautiful. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the sound of the wind, but I wanted to show you guys home for the night. So we backpacked in for a mile uh, in some pretty sloppy conditions. So it took a little longer than I'd expected to. But as you can see, we have a beautiful lake right here at the campsite, a picnic table, some stumps for chairs, a fire pit. So, it's the first time I've ever backpacked into a campsite that had an outhouse, uh, which is a little bit of a unique situation. Uh, that being said, it is nice to have one there. So, uh, have some facilities and some uh, little, maybe a nice little luxury. We'll go with that. It's pretty awesome that I've got this entire lake to myself. 
there's literally nobody else around. This is the only campsite on this lake as well.
right guys we are going to give you the 360 walk around tour this is the new i am maya san gabriel four season backpacking tent and i have set up a lot of tents in my life like a lot of tents and i have never had a tent go up this easily it snaps together really beautifully it does pack up really really nice and uh, it's got two vestibules on either side, vestibules on either side uh, that you can be able to pack your storage gear in and give you a little place to get out of the rain. So we'll show you guys those just now. All right, as you guys can see, that, that is a large backpacking pack. And uh, it, it fits in there just beautifully. And I have a whole other one on the other side. So I can really be able to kind of get in there and uh, take my shoes off, have somewhere to put my shoes. Um, you know, it looks like it very well easily could rain or maybe start to snow a little bit tonight or kind of right in that mix uh, where it could either rain or snow. So it'll be great to be able to have somewhere for me to be able to just kind of get dry sit down relax and even if i want to open up the door a little bit then i have some protection against the wind and rain Well, while I love my Zubilee's sleeping pad, <clears throat> it's insulated, it's comfortable, it's really thick and nice, and it's really neat that they have a built-in inflation pump in it that you use with your hand. Uh, but I got this little little air pump called uh, Flex Tail. Uh, so I've been wanting to try this out, and uh, yeah, we're gonna give it a shot. guys so we are settled in for the night uh it's a little too windy to build a fire i was going to build a fire in my twig stove but realistically even though everything's pretty well damp i just it's not worth it uh, i'm not that hungry anyways so i'm probably going to skip dinner tonight uh and just make myself a hot drink i've got the the tent set up here so that uh, i can open this festival facing out towards the lake still have this beautiful view uh, and I'm a little bit more protected from the wind, so I think I'm going to light my canister stove right here. Uh, you know, it's not under the tent uh, vestibule, um, and I'll keep it, you know, all the flames, make sure that they stay away from the doors or anything else that could catch on fire. So, um, yeah, it's time for a hot drink.
All right, guys. So we had a nice cup of uh, rose hip tea. And that really hit the spot. So I'm going to curl up. I'm going to watch a movie on my phone and uh, just rest and enjoy this beautiful night. So catch up with you guys first thing in the morning. Good night. Good morning, guys. That was a fantastic night of sleep. Uh, I got down pretty cool last night. Um, I'm only sleeping in a 50 degree comfort rating Zubaleev's uh, lightweight top quilt. So usually more meant for uh, for hammock camping, but I really wanted to give it a shot. I knew it was going to be cold for it, but I also had my Zubaleev's uh, four inch thick insulated mat. So I know it'd be all right. And I also got two wool sweaters on. So. Uh, Wow, what a great night. The wind blew hard all night long. Uh, the tent, you could hear the snow hitting on it. Uh, so not actually sure how much snow we got, but I know that at one point in time, I had to shake the tent off a little bit and the wind was blowing it enough that it was coming off in clumps. But anyways, great night of sleep. And uh, yeah, let's see if, uh, if the wind will allow us to have some coffee this morning. There's just, there's three inches of snow over everything this morning. guys well what a beautiful morning it is uh, after a little bit of deliberation the wind is still just absolutely kicking uh, here right now um, I am going to bypass breakfast I'm just gonna have some snacks here in the tent relax a little bit and then I'm gonna start the pack up process uh, and as usual I'm gonna spare you guys pack up process I'm literally gonna take the entire tent everything roll it into a big bowl cram it into my backpack and then just deal with it when I get home it's already gonna be wet no point in rolling it up nice and neat now and then having to re roll it out as soon as I get home. So, uh, wow, uh, just a great trip. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, made it this far. I really want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please give it a like, uh, comment. I love hearing from you guys. Uh, you know, tell me what you guys want to see me do next. I thank you again and I really appreciate it. All right, until we meet again under the old Southern Pine, stay safe. God bless.